The theme for this year's uh, Biomaker Challenge is going to be exploring plants, soil and the environment. There are three challenge themes um, and you can enter a, uh, a team to look at any one of these. First is sensors, field communication and machine learning for environmental survey and monitoring. Uh, the second is measurement and control of plant growth in science, agriculture and gardening. And the third is electronic and biological sensors for management of soil health. It's really about looking at plant health, soil health and, um, and environmental conditions uh, and monitoring those things um, as well. So um, how will the challenge be working this year? 15th of November will be the deadline for submitting your projects. Uh, we are asking teams this year to submit their project ideas to Hackster. Um, there is an information page on the Biomaker website about how to do that, um, you know, what information you need and, and kind of what buttons to click, etc. Um, but it's pretty straightforward. Um, so really, all you need to do is, is gather a few people that are interested in looking at one of these things and um, submit a, a very brief idea. And we'll have a look at those. Um, we'll check that they align with our uh, eligibility criteria, which I'll talk about in a second. Uh, and then any teams that are accepted will receive uh, hardware kits um, sometime in November, um, which they can then use uh, for a series of online training sessions. Uh, so really the idea this year is that you don't have to have a, a fully formed um, project plan or anything like that. It's really just about the initial idea. And then we'll hopefully be giving you some training um, on how to use your hard hardware, how to code it um, so that you can turn your idea into an actual project. So the training sessions will be going on during November and December. I think we've got three training sessions planned um, and then teams will have from December until March next year, uh, three months um, to kind of work on their projects and also receive ongoing support um, from the Biomaker team as well. And then next year uh, on the 15th of March, we'll be making sure that you've uh, submitted all your documentation to Hackster. And then we'll be having a similar event to this, hopefully in person by that time, uh, where we'll have a presentation ceremony and award prizes. So that's how things are going to go this year. As I said, um, really just about you know bringing together a few people into disciplinary team and having an idea and then we can hopefully help you um, bring that idea to life uh, so just to quickly mention the requirements and the kind of eligibility criteria what we're looking for um, so you would need to have an affiliation with uh, one of our partners that can either be an already established affiliation um, or you could, um, you know, reach out to people at these partners and establish a partnership as part of this project. Uh, so our partners are uh, University of Cambridge, uh, John Inner Centre and the Earlham Institute in Norwich and uh, partners on the Signals in the Soil programme, which is funded by um, NERC. If you have an idea and don't have an affiliation please still get in touch with us and we'll we'll do our best to help you get in touch with the people that you need uh, the second thing that we're looking for as i said is interdisciplinary teams um, so hopefully a mix of people from different disciplines um, biologists engineers um, exactly like the teams we've had this year uh, i've already mentioned that we will be having this theme of plant soil and the environment so your project has to fit within that somehow um, as always, we're looking for projects that are open access and can create reusable hardware or reusable resources to share with the community. To uh, achieve that aim, all of these projects um, will be documented on Hackster. That should be pretty easy, seeing as um, once you've set up your, your proposal on Hackster, it's really just about keeping that up to date with um, what you've been doing in your project. Uh, and obviously, um, we'll, at the end of this, be looking for teams to um, report and give a presentation. That's basically everything that you need to know about this year. We're not offering uh, monetary funding, but we are offering hardware kits, both a basic kit. And then um, once you've developed your project a bit more, we can provide additional kit uh, sensors, things like that. And the, the training involved to get your project off the ground as well as um, support from the Biomaker team. And there will be prizes uh, at the end next year for, for teams that do best in different categories.